A warehouse in New Jersey filled with 6,000 used copy machines, ready to be sold. And almost every one of them holds a secret. That's it? That's the hard drive. Nearly every digital copier built since 2002 contains one of these, a hard drive. Like the one on your personal computer, it stores an image of every document scanned, copied, or emailed by the machine. In the process, turning an office staple into a digital time bomb, packed with highly personal or sensitive data. We might find as many as 20,000 documents on it. If you're in the identity theft business, this has got to be some kind of pot of gold. Social security numbers, birth certificates, uh, bank records, income tax forms, uh, that information I would think would be very valuable. John Junton and Sacramento-based company Digital Copier Security develops software that can scrub all the data on hard drives. He's been trying to warn people about the potential risk with no luck. Nobody wants to step up and say, we see the problem, we need to, we need to solve it. So we went with Junton into this warehouse, one of 25 across the country, to see how hard it would be to buy a used copier loaded with documents. Turns out, it's pretty easy. I get equipment in all day, every single day. Junton and picked four machines based on price and the number of pages printed. In less than two hours, his selections were packed and loaded onto a truck. The cost? About $300 each. Come on back. Until we unpacked and plugged them in, we had no idea where the copiers came from or what we'd find. We didn't even have to wait for the first one to warm up. We got some documents here on the glass. This machine came from the city of Buffalo, New York, Police Sex, sex, crimes. sex crimes Division. This machine has uh, 249,000 copies on it, total copies. A prints has 42,000 prints on it. It's also used as a fax machine. It took Junton in about 30 minutes to pull the hard drives out of the copiers. Then using a forensic software program available free on the internet, he ran a scan, downloading tens of thousands of documents in less than 12 hours. The results were stunning. From the sex crimes unit, detailed domestic violence complaints, and a list of wanted sex offenders. On a second machine from the Buffalo PD narcotics unit, we found a list of targets in a major drug raid. The third machine from a New York construction company spit out design plans for a building near Ground Zero in Manhattan. 95 pages of pay stubs with names, addresses, and social security numbers and $40,000 in copy checks. But it wasn't until we hit print on the fourth machine from a New York insurance company that we obtained the most disturbing documents. 300 pages of individual medical records, everything from drug prescriptions to blood test results to a cancer diagnosis, a potentially serious breach of federal privacy law. You're talking about potentially ruining somebody's life where they could suffer serious social repercussions. Ira Winkler is a former analyst for the National Security Agency and a leading expert on digital security. You have to take some basic responsibility and know that these copiers are actually computers that need to be cleaned up. The Buffalo PD and the New York Construction Company declined comment on our story. As for Affinity, they issued this statement that said in part, we are taking the necessary steps to ensure that none of our customers' personal information remains on other previously leased copiers and that no personal information will be released inadvertently in the future. Ed McLaughlin is president of Sharp Imaging, the digital copier company. Has the industry failed in your mind to inform the general public of the potential risks involved with a copier? I think yes. In general, the, the industry has failed. In 2008, Sharp commissioned a survey on copier security that found 60% of Americans don't know that copiers store images on a hard drive. Sharp tried to warn consumers about the threat, but... It's falling on deaf ears, or people don't feel it's that important, or we'll take care of it later. All the major manufacturers told us they offer security or encryption packages on their products. McLaughlin showed us this one from Sharp that automatically erases an image from the hard drive. How much does that component, that option, cost on a machine like this? $500. But evidence keeps piling up in warehouses that many businesses are unwilling to pay for such protection and that the average American is completely unaware of the dangers posed by digital copiers. The day we visited that New Jersey warehouse, two shipping containers packed with used copiers were headed overseas. 
loaded with secrets on their way to unknown buyers in Argentina and Singapore. Armin Katayan, CBS News, New York.